Hello you guys, welcome back to the Peace, Love and Happiness Club YouTube channel. My name's Nathan and today I'm here to tell you a little bit more about Apicia. So these guys are a close relative of the African Violet, a common house plant that we all know and love. But these guys are a little bit more finicky. So if you've nailed your African Violet care, I would highly recommend checking out Apicia. For these guys, you're gonna to wanna to maintain some even moisture throughout the soil during their active growing season. And then come winter, when they slow down a little bit, you can uh, keep them a little bit on the drier side. So the key to keeping your Apicia happy is gonna be providing it a little extra humidity. So grouping it together with some other plants or keeping it near a humidifier is going to be a really great way to keep the foliage looking beautiful on your plant. As for the light for these guys, you wanna give them lots of bright light, but you wanna avoid direct sun. If you're giving them too much light, you're gonna to start to notice their leaves will become a little bit more pale and you won't get that really opaque color that you see on this plant here. You also run the risk of burning the leaves if you're giving them too much light. So you'll start to notice um, some browning around the edges or brown spots on the leaves. Now, during the active growing season for your Apicia, it's gonna be really important to fertilize it. We recommend using something like this Bloom fertilizer from Dynagrow that we sell here at our collector plant store and on our website, or your standard African Violet fertilizer will be the perfect match to keep your Apicia happy. So like I mentioned, these guys are a little sensitive to humidity and they are also a little sensitive to temperature. You wanna keep these guys above 50 degrees Fahrenheit to keep them nice and happy. If your temperatures are dropping below that, you're gonna to start to notice browning on the leaves. Um, these guys make beautiful cascading plants. They'll send off stolons, which are little babies that you can then propagate or continue to let grow out. So you can get a really nice cascading look or you can chop the stolons back, which will promote more flower growth on your plant. Now, the flowers on Apicia are absolutely adorable and are one of the main reasons why people like to grow them. Uh, all different varieties have different flowers, so there's lots to explore within the Apicia family. Another way that you can promote more flowers on your Apicia is by chopping off leaves that maybe aren't looking so pretty or are a bit older, that's gonna help redirect the plant's energy on producing flowers as opposed to um, maintaining that foliage. So you can see on this plant here, some of these older leaves aren't looking so cute. So it's as easy as just chopping at the petiole of the leaf like so. So another thing to look out for when you are caring for an Apicia is mealybugs and spider mites. Uh, their foliage are quite prone to both of those pests, which is why we recommend using our circadian sunrise three-in-one insecticide, miticide, and fungicide. I might even recommend doing a preventative spray on these guys, even if your plant isn't actively infested. Um, this will help prevent any future infestation and keep those pests away. So one thing I really enjoy about keeping Apicia here in the store is all the different varieties that you can find. There's really so many different colors and so many different uh, flowers that you can find on these Apicia. I think they look great styled together or on their own. Personally, I'm really excited to be installing some of these guys in our living wall here in a couple weeks. Um, I'm really excited to let those stolons grow out and really get that cascading look. I find the fuzzy little leaves on these guys to be absolutely adorable and pretty unique from other plants. So I definitely recommend keeping your eyes out for an Apicia next time you're here shopping with us or you're at your local plant store. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about Apicia. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will see you in the next one. And as always, peace out.